Hello makers, welcome back to the channel. So, Prague Maker Fair has been incredibly awesome. It's day two, it's at the moment it's four o'clock, so the fair is about to close in a couple of hours, but it's been absolutely great. It's been a huge success. Uh, I'm sure Yosef Prusha would be absolutely proud, which by the way, huge shout out and thank you for helping me make this trip here. Now, a lot happened. There were over 180 displays. It's been incredibly busy and there were a few things which really grabbed my interest and I kind of wanted to emphasize on those and then I wanted to give you guys a montage of exactly what went on today, the awesomeness that was the first ever Maker Faire in Prague. If you're wondering, yes, this is a new room. I have a new room and I have a bathroom and I have a TV and I have AC. So I, and, and I have a double bed so I can sleep comfortable. So first things first, uh, the one thing that I'm truly, truly looking forward to, the new multi-material upgrade by Josef Prusa. That thing is going to be next level when it's ready, which should be a couple of months. And it works, it kind of works in its own ecosystem and integrates flawlessly uh, with the Mark III. And the way it works is that you do not really modify anything from the 3D printer except put an add-on. So it, you keep the, uh, the direct drive extruder, which is definitely a big plus. The way, the best way to explain it is that you have this mechanism that attaches on top of the frame and it works by having a gear that chooses which filament will go in and out, but it retracts it all the way out. So it, it's not gonna be like the, um, the Y splitter for the original MME where a lot of people suffered clogs and jams. This actually, it's like, removing all the filament completely out from your current printer and putting in a new one uh, because it's still the direct drive, it's still the same system. What this will do is make it incredibly efficient. So a few things that I need to point out which were only very recently released by Yosef Prusa and that is that it will have a lot of features and they are features which a lot of users have actually shouted at um, and, and wanted and even told me about and I will be talking about in the Palette Plus review and that is to use the Purge as infill and what happens there is that you reduce the waste. In fact, he uh, on display he was doing this puzzle piece and you could see the infill um, being used as the purge as the second model so he was uh, doing two of the same model on the same bed so the uh, one of the model was the actual model the other one was the same but using the infill as the purge and that reduced the purge block by a significant amount because it was almost empty it was only being used just to purge just a little bit and sort of equalize the filament as it comes out um, with this what i do suggest something i did notice when this is going to be used it's very important that you use enough perimeters and infill to make sure that the uh, the purge happens perfectly fine next up something that completely blew my mind away uh, and something that if ever released I will definitely be printing quite a few of them. Um, it's still at prototype stage, but it's called the 3D Farmer. And this is a mechanism where your, your Prusa Mark III or Mark II with 2.5 upgrade uh, sit on a frame and you have this mechanism that actually integrates seamlessly with all uh, your Prusa machines and has this sort of attachment to it which once the prints are finished, this thing will harvest your printers for you. So it will uh, it will move itself in front of the printer that is ready. It has sensors to show, sort of calibrate it. And then this arm will go out. It will lift your flexible build plate up. An arm will sweep under it. It will lift it off. It will pull it back out and actually move it to another printer or move it to another place. At the moment, it was just a matter of switching plates from one to another printer. But I can see that this would be an incredibly awesome thing. And I went by the stall at least three or four times because I just couldn't get enough of it. And it's currently still at prototype stage. If I, I really hope it will, if it ever gets released, it's definitely something I would make use of because I can see myself uh, putting that in my print farm. Other cool stuff I saw was the, uh, well, first of all, it was there was this massive 
air cannon which which was incredibly loud incredibly awesome um they they set it up in one of the halls and it, it just took about five or six people to actually pull back the bungee to sort of snap the air inside and push the air but they would fill it up with smoke and you could see the string of smoke traveling across the whole of the hallway or half of the hallway and then just hitting these set of cardboard empty boxes on the other side and just tipping them over it was quite a treat to watch. 3D Simo were always there. Um, I did a video um, featuring their new 3D Simo kit, which I did the uh, the Super Spanner Hands robot or Super Spanner bot. I still don't know what I'm gonna call it. They had a stall there. Um, they they were showcasing um, their new kit. They were showcasing their 3D pens and kids were playing and they even gave me something for my daughter to take back home. So thank you very much 3D Simo. Uh, I will leave links in the video description for them. I also got a chance to talk to Trilabs and they do this Delta printer, which is seems incredibly accurate. The, uh, the display that they had, the prints that they had were all printed at 200 microns. But the quality was absolutely insane. The price point, slightly high. Um, I, I will be talking more about that because I, uh, I spoke to the owner and there is a chance that I will get a machine to review. But I was very happy to see that they only use E3D, genuine E3D um, accessories on it. So it has the uh, E3D hot end. It has the Titan extruder on it as well. The usual heated build plate, but it comes with high wind linear rails. It has carbon fiber rods uh, for the effector arms, automatic bed leveling, power for zoom function. It has a crash detection mechanism as well on it. Uh, ran out filament sensor. So it's pretty much has everything that you'd want out of 3D printer, but I was quite happy to see it. As you guys know, I have a special place in my heart for Delta printers. So I'm really, really looking forward to actually um, uh, reviewing that machine. As for the rest, there was a lot of things going on. There were drones flying, drones. Well, I've, I've had this tiny whoop crash into me at least three times while I was there. Uh, lots of light shows. There were lots of makers, lots of kids playing. It was an incredible experience. I really enjoyed it. It was quite busy, so as a first Maker Faire, I'd say it was an absolute success. I cannot wait to get here again next year. As for me, that is it for now. Tomorrow I'll be recording from uh, the uh, Prusa Research Factory because I really want to show you guys what exactly goes on behind the scenes, what happens from the moment you order a 3D printer till the moment it gets delivered. For the rest, I'm gonna leave you with this montage of all the awesomeness that was the first ever Prague Maker Faire. Big shout out to Josef Prusa, thank you very much for uh, making this happen for me, for bringing me over to Prague to uh, witness this first edition of Maker Faire. In the meantime, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making, guys. <music>